these are my electric drills. I have others, uh, but uh, you know, I've got hand drills like this. I tend to like the corded drills. I, I've had battery drills in the past, but I don't drill that often, and I find it inconvenient to have to keep a battery charged. And it just seemed like whenever I needed the drill, if I hadn't put it on the charger, the thing would be dead. So I never buy them anymore, and these are ones I've gotten at yard sales. I've got this heavy duty uh, rigid. This is a hammer drill, works real well. Uh, I've got probably another half a dozen of them here in the shop and back home in my garage. Uh, this is a nice Delta and uh, I got this thing at a yard sale uh, for 200 bucks. And I believe this thing retails for around 1400. So I feel like I did really well on this thing. And uh, <clears throat> I love it. I use it pretty much on a daily basis. And I think I do 90% or more of my drilling on this, using this tool here. And uh, if you need a nice square hole, uh, this is what you want right here. I was just drilling some Corian with this yesterday uh, for Mystery Automaton. So whenever possible, I use the drill press for my drilling because I get the nice square hole. You can really control the, uh, the feed rate and so forth. And uh, it's just a really awesome tool. But when you have to work, I call them field drilling, uh, then you got to move to this type of a drill. And, uh, you know, if I have larger holes I'm doing, or if I have a lot of a certain type of hole, then definitely I will go to uh, this type of a corded drill. But a lot of times you just need that one little hole for a pilot or to help a screw get started. And uh, it's kind of a hassle to have to drag these out and plug them up and get an extension cord and all of that. So this is my solution. I love antique tools, and uh, as my wife will tell you, I am always combing the classifieds and Craigslist looking for yard sales, and I love to go to the flea markets. Uh, there's a lot of things I'm interested in, but I always look at old tools, and I have a particular fetish for these old hand drills, and uh, I keep these on hand uh, to uh, take care of small jobs, you know, when it's inconvenient to pull out my power drills. And I keep these handy uh, just for doing small jobs around the shop here. And uh, I've got four different sizes here uh, that I put in here, 75 thousandths, 125, 150, 200. And that seems to cover the lion's share of the most of the little pilot holes and things that I need to drill. Uh, this little one, <clears throat> actually I think this is a toy. Uh, it's got a nice cast iron gear here. It's got an incorrect fastener that somebody's put on there, uh, but it still works well. And I'm thinking that uh, I'll make a little project at some point out of making a, a new fastener for this. So it's got my small one. This is a nice Stanley. Oh yeah, this one, by the way, does not have a manufacturer's uh, mark on it, but I think it is a toy. This is a nice Stanley. This is probably from the 80s or 90s. I don't think it's terribly old, but it's very well made. It works well. I just put it, you just put a little drop of oil in there and I'll tell you, this thing will, will go Go the distance for you. And this is a, a really cool one. I think this may be the oldest one I've got. Um, <clears throat> it has the keen cutter mark on it, uh, which I think will place it in the 50s or earlier, maybe 40s or 30s. Don't know for sure. But this is really nice. It's very ornate uh, cast iron frame that this thing has. The, the bowl gear is uh, cast iron as well. And uh, really works well after all these years uh, it just works like a champ even the chuck is still good i had to put a little drop of oil on it when i first got it back to the shop but uh, i clean them up just a little bit i just went over this with a little bit of steel wool and uh, i just like to get a little bit of the rust off of it and maybe some of the paint drops but i don't like to overdo it and then this is the largest one here this is a craftsman and i'm going to guess this is 70s or 60s uh, but again, very well-made tool, all cast iron. Uh, the frame here uh, is cast iron and uh, looks like the bull gear is as well. No missing teeth, uh, just a nicely made tool. And uh, this one has a little handle on the side, so if you really need to get some muscle into the drilling, you can do it. So I put the largest bit on this one. Here's my arsenal. I hang it over the workbench here. Uh, Roger the rat keeps guard on him and so far nobody has bothered them so he's doing a good job. <laughs>